Morning Year 8 and welcome to a tutorial in graphic design. In this tutorial we're going to look at creating computer graphics for our video game. We're going to be using an application called Metal Slug Paint. When we start, we search for it at home or in Spain, you can type in Paint and we're going to open up this application. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to change the size of our image <coughs> to make sure that our image is set in a core 2. Computers use a counting system called binary or base 2, and we want all our images to be nice, equally divisible by cores of 2. So we're going to set this to 64 by 64. The images we use in our game will probably be 16 by 16, 32 by 32, or 64 by 64, depending on the size we want. So mine's already set, and we're going to click OK. You see it's not my image, which is very small. But in order to work with it, I'm going to zoom in maximum. And there we go. Now, in your tutorial, it starts by creating a simple ball, and we look at light, and we look at shadow. So I'm going to begin with creating the outline. I'm going to choose my color, the black outline, no fill, that will do. Draw my shape. In fact, I'm going to change the depth of the thickness of that line slightly, not as thick. And there we go. I draw my ball. Next, I'm going to fill it. So I'm going to choose my game pot, I'm going to choose the color, and go for light green. There we go, we filled our ball. Next, I want to create the illusion of a shadow with the lights coming down from the top light, casting a shadow in the bottom left. I'm going to use the pencil tool this time, I'm going to change the width of the line, and I'm going to change the shadow color to something darker. If you can't find the color you want, you can go to edit colors, search, in fact, to pick something up darker, add it to my custom. Okay, and we now change this to something darker, probably a little bit too dark. Draw the line for my shadow. I'm now going to go back and fill that the same color, maybe a different shadow. It does look a bit dark, but it will do. Next is to get the illusion of light. I'm going to change back to the white color, back to a pencil, go to the smallest size. I'm going to draw some individual pixels up here in the top right. The idea that the light's setting it up here and casting the shadow at the bottom. Now, in order to see what this will look like <coughs> in reality, we need to go back to review and select 100%. So that's what my graphic will look like. I'm going to finish it by adding a little bit more light, reflecting of it. Checking the brush, white, and in fact, I'll change the size of that. Yeah, that's what I want. And there we go. Using this technique, you should be able to create simple graphics with collectibles, characters. Don't forget about the block that we will need for our platform. And finally, see if it will work. File, save as, and depending where you're working, if you're working at home, you'll have to save it to your home computer drive, or in school, you can save it to school. I'm going to save mine to my C2K OneDrive, <coughs> and in my year 8 folder, this means that my graphic will be accessible both at home and in school. Well, I'll leave it as a photo network graphic, and click save. Now it's back to you where you're going to have to create the graphic for your block, your character, your enemy, your collectibles, and upload at least four custom graphics. Goodbye and good luck.